No, you want to try? No. Nope. We have somebody standing by with fire extinguisher. Nope. Why not? There, brown my cookie a little bit. Ooh. Burnt Toasted edges. cookies mm. for the first time on a table. Ah, it's really hot. Ow, that was dumb. Of course it's hot. <laughs> Why did you just stick that in your mouth? Because <laughs> it's a cookie. Because it's a chocolate chip cookie, Claire. That's why. It's the morning scramble. Z102.9. Okay. Uh, here's where we're at. The morning scramble is live in the Z102.9 kitchens for our Tasted Tuesday. I'm looking at a glorious textured herb-filled butter candle, which has the perfect wick length. The flame is beautiful. It's the right height. It is slowly melting. I can't wait to dip that bread into that candle. I'm very excited about that one. That's the one I had a recipe for, and I followed it, and I think it's going to be delicious. Now, before we talk about what you're trying to do next to that candle, what is in this recipe that's not in the cheese so that this butter is melting perfectly? Well, the butter is... A, butter. Um. <laughs> I mean, they're both dairy products, right? Yeah, but I just thought, well, cheese, maybe that'll work too. But I got a, a block of Monterey Jack cheese. Yeah, you sure do. And I think I should have done like a melting cheese. You know, something that was typically be found in fondue. Like you maybe had, that would have worked better. You've had an aim and flame on that cheese <laughs> since Halsey started so good. I'm out of wick. And it's nothing's happening. It's not even melting under the flame of the aim and flame. It's getting a little melty, but every time I get close to the wick, it lights just a second and then just snuffs itself out. Well, do you uh, want to abandon all hope? <laughs> I think it's time. Is it time? Well, I want it. I, this is why we do Taste of Tuesday. I also neglected to have breakfast this morning or intentionally didn't have breakfast. Don't look. I was going to go heavy on buttery bread. <laughs> we can so, still have cheese and crackers, I guess. Okay. It's just not going to be melted. Well, let's start with the melted candle part of the butter. Is that what you're expecting? Uh, this is, yeah, kind of what I was expecting. So the melted butter, uh, it suggested that you do a garlic melted butter. So yeah. I roasted a head of garlic. You Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're fancy. I roasted a head of garlic. Your I'm sweater is the same color as the roasted garlic. I know. <laughs> I always dress whatever uh, Taste of Tuesday looks like. I dress in a baggy shirt because I play to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so there's room to expand. There's room for a lot of fondue. <laughs> um, and then I just, it said you can add whatever you want. You could do a butter candle and you could add in like cinnamon and sugar. You could do a butter candle and add like herbs and stuff. Are those herbs? So I added just a cup, a little dash of nice. Italian seasoning and... Uh, all I right. don't know. I think it's good to go. Well, let's get to dipping. Well, would you like a little bit of sourdough bread? That's a hearty sourdough. It's a big sourdough. I'm going to break it. Here. This is my body. Let's, let us break bread. <laughs> go. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to break out a little, like a, a little half heart. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I think well, I... Well, I just made, I made it dippable size, and we got to go towards the wick. Yes. Oh, it's gooey. Where it's gooey and melty. Ooh. Now the butter. Oh! oh! Well, that's fine. We snuffed out the Get the aim and flame. flame. Hurry up. We stuffed out the flame of the candle, but that's okay. Uh, your guests oh. will be delighted that's as fantastic. you relight the candle. Mm. That's excellent. Good work. Yeah. That's fantastic. Butter candle. Yeah, I want a more. sourdough bread. I want more. No, that's a good treat. Look right. out. We got some spillage. You're coming off the side there. The only thing is, I think this might be a little bit messy. It's very messy. The pictures I saw, people had them in like a coffee cup. Does Messy and dangerous. Did yeah, that would totally work. a plastic cup, and then you cut the cup open. Yeah. Uh, mm. My recipe said that you didn't need anything, but I think it does need a base to Claire, it. Claire, this works beautifully. Now, what's the wick made out of? Mm. What if I get wick on my bread? I ordered special wicks. These are wicks made out of beeswax. Okay. So they are food safe. Food safe wicks are the best type of wicks. Food safe wicks. Okay. Butter candle. Huge success. Huge success. Cheese oh. candle. Hey, that not reminds me. Not success at this all. This entire time, uh, we should have lit the chocolate candle about five minutes ago. We'll get it. We'll you get sure? It. Yeah, we'll I get it. I'm a little worried that it's going to go the same path <laughs> as the cheese candle. And that's not going to be any good because the cheese candle never never kept the flame. <laughs> so at this point, there's a block of cheese and a wick that's just sticking out. So hmm. let's ceremoniously... Much like the Olympics, let's light the chocolate now. Light the chocolate candle. Because it's got to melt. This is a dangerous and interesting um, experiment in food science. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. We have a beautiful flame on our chocolate candle. We'll see once it hits the actual chocolate 
if it will stay lit. Um, but so far, butter, yes. Cheese, no. Can you hand me the cheese? What are you going to do with the cheese? Just give me the whole block of cheese. The whole block of cheese? Yeah. Careful. Yeah, not, Look yeah. out for the wick. Well, there's a wick standing there. He's just biting. You are just biting into the cheese. Well, what, what, what else am I supposed It's a hunk of cheese. I'm starving. There's a knife right here. <laughs> you could have cut out a cheese slice. I could have, but I didn't. Well, that's your block of cheese now. <laughs> I own the cheese. <laughs> Taste it Tuesday. Mm. Uh, we're doing our best here. Food candles. Food candles. Who knew? Butter, great. Cheese. The cheese tastes cheese. great. Just it didn't light up. Doesn't work as a candle. Oh, the chocolate flame went out. Light the chocolate Light the again. Flame. Light the chocolate. Claire, are you the type of person who gets joy in at least giving it a good try? Yeah. I was really proud of myself for thinking outside of the box. I saw a video where people were making candles out of butter and then serving them at parties. And I thought, yeah, that's a great idea. We should try that. But also, wait. There's what, more. What if there was other foods that you could make into a candle? So I tried block of cheese and I tried chocolate. Now, here's where I think we failed. And by we, I mean you. Mostly me. The candle <laughs> is butter, which is a fat, which is fuel. Yes. If we were pioneer people, we would have killed a buffalo and used our lanterns by burning their fat. Yes. Just think of it like that. Yeah. Oh, no. I think of myself as a pioneer because, yes. like, they didn't know what they were looking for when no. they went west. And, like, I didn't know what I was looking for. I think I was mostly melted f- food and yes. then I could dip bread into it. Your one skill in the wagon train is you're the melted <laughs> butter lady. That's who you are. <laughs> You'll come in handy at some point. But you know what? We didn't know that we were going to find, you know, successes and also failures. Well, but failures are opportunities. We've yes. learned from our failures. And here's what I am. Um, this is just a guess what from did a guy you learn, Eric? who eats a lot of food. When you melt chocolate and when you melt cheese, fondue or recipes, mm-hmm. the heat's coming from the bottom, yeah. not from the top and not internally. We can't even keep them lit. No. They keep going out. I was so frustrated with the cheese, I took a bite out of it. I feel like I want to do it with the chocolate, but that, is that solid chocolate? <laughs> it's like uh, like almond bark chocolate, and it, it lit for a little while. There's a little bit of dip. If, if you take a little mini cookie and you dip it around where the candle was lit yeah. for a time, it's melted. You used, you just got all of it. There's nothing left, <laughs> little Eric. Get, break the cookie in half. Hey, well, make it make it like why, a pokey cookie. Why would I Here. break a cookie in half? Are you kidding me? It's a miniature I, cookie. <laughs> which is why I need at least five. It's small. You want me to break a miniature cookie in a half? Who are you talking to? I'm not your daughter. I'm a grown man who likes cookies. It was just a suggestion so you could puncture the candle. <laughs> Good idea. Oh yeah, use your cookie as a tool. Well, here that's a small oh, wow. amount. Get in there, cook. Okay. Oh, it just crushes. That's solid chocolate. It's solid chocolate. It is. Well, okay. You so want to try lighting it one more time? We learned a lesson. We gave up on the cheese. The cheese isn't even going. Cheese isn't going to happen. Here, let me get in. I feel like Can I just hope- get my cookie in the wick? You're just going to light your cookie on fire. Well, maybe that's the way to do it. I, no, you want to try? No. We have somebody standing by with fire extinguisher. No. Why not? There, brown my cookie a little bit. Ooh. Burnt Toasted edges. cookies mm. for the first time on a table. That's really hot. Oh, that was dumb. Of course it's hot. <laughs> Why did you just stick that in your mouth? Because <laughs> it's a cookie. Because it's a chocolate chip cookie, Claire. That's why. I thought it was a good idea. Well, the important thing is we learned some lessons. We did. Don't eat hot food. Don't eat. Don't <laughs> stick burning hot cookie in your mouth. That's the first lesson for today. The second is if you're making charcuterie candles and they're made out of butter, mm-hmm. you're going to have great success. Not every food is a candle. Anything else, I think, um, doesn't work. Right? At least in this this test kitchen. Butter is a fat. I feel like if I had talked to a food scientist, we would have known what would work yeah. ahead of time. Can I dip my chocolate chip cookie into the butter? Sure. <laughs> it's garlic. That's fine. That didn't stop me before. Mm. Gross. Oh, God, that's horrible. Gross. Oh, bad, yeah. Chocolate and garlic. A for effort. Yeah. Claire. Well, yeah, that's not a passing grade, but okay. No. Yeah, this is clearly enough. No. No, I failed. Two point nine.